Hi there. Today we are going to do how to cook and prepare an ox tongue. This evil looking brute. It's a hell of a bit of meat. It's mad. Doesn't even look real. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to brine this. Now there's more recipes out there on brine than Gene Simmons has had. Hot dinners. Do you get it? Anyhow, what I'm going to do, I put this tongue in my container and I covered it with water until it was well covered a couple of inches above so I knew the measurement of water I wanted which is about two liters so I put it into my pan which is on the heat there now what I'm going to do to that pan it's just coming up to boil there's 12 cloves 12 peppercorns and 12 juniper berries there's four bay leaves going in there's 500 grams of brown sugar I mean the recipes they state brown sugar demerara sugar someone says castor sugar uh, same with the salt sea salt you know table salt some say you know a kilo and a half for this amount of water some say 500 but I'm going with 600 grams of course sea salt that's about that so I'm going to move the camera onto the pot and all we're doing is bring this up to the boil so the sugars and the salt melts together so in my pot then I've got my two litres of water 500 grams of brown sugar 600 grams of coarse sea salt four bay leaves 12 juniper berries 12 cloves and 12 peppercorns and all we're doing is mixing that up bringing it up to the boil till all that sugar and that salt is dissolved and once it's dissolved we're going to let it cool that takes quite a while to let it cool once it's cool we're going to put our put it into our container put our ox tongue in put a lid on it and that's going to go in the fridge for at least seven days so i'll just show you that crazy tasting thing so that's boiled and all the sugar and the salt and mix together I'm going to put it in my container and we're going to have to let that cool down now that's going to take a few hours that's the brine mixture done I never put any salt peter in purely because you know all that really helps with is one the preserving but we're going to cook this and two it gives it that you know nice pink tinge but you don't have to use it so I haven't put it in this one so we're going to let that cool down we're going to put this beast of a tongue in it then that will go in the fridge then for seven days so this is one of my long haul ones you know which will be compressed down and then in a week's time we will cook it right then time for tongue part two what a Christmas present I'm open this up. now as you remember this has been in for seven days a whole week you can see it's changed color change texture and what we're going to do we're going to poach this now have a look at that beauty you wouldn't want that on the end of your nose for a wart so I'm going to give that a good clean in cold water then we're going to get it in the pot and get the poaching going right now granted this ain't the most attractive looking thing at the moment so what we're going to do we'll place it in some cold water it's just heating slightly get it in there and it wants to cover the tongue by at least an inch two inches if you can I've got this onion here just gonna pierce it with a few cloves get those in they're only really small onions and that one I'm just gonna roughly chop this uh, carrot and what I'm gonna do gently bring it up to the boil only gently and then we're going to skim any scum that's on it off and then what we'll do once it's nice and clean We'll get poaching it for about an hour, hour and a half. We'll get that in there, let that come up to eat, and then we'll have a look how we're going. Have a look in there. Right, it's just coming up to the boil now. You can see the bulls just popping gently. I'm going to take a little scum off this tongue. Only a little bit to come off this actually, but you can continue to uh, skim it off as it gets cooking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the heat down. Just going to add a few 
sprigs of parsley, one, a bay leaf, crush it to release the lovely oils, six or seven peppercorns. So I'm going to turn that down now and we're going to check it in 90 minutes. We're going to pierce the thick end of the tongue and the tip and if it goes through it's done. So we'll come back in 90 minutes. I suppose you know you could go and listen to anything by Kiss. I don't know what makes me think of that or maybe you know slip of the tongue by White Snake. But we'll check that in 90 minutes. Just want to show you where we are at the hour stage. You can see in there ticking over nicely. That lovely stock it's making as well. We'll reduce that down. Fantastic. Right, that's just been under two hours now. I mean, it still don't look that attractive now. But hey ho, we'll get there. So I'm just going to put it on. Just going to check it. Should pierce the tip easily, like that. And obviously, the thick part in like butter. So what we've got to do, you can let this cool down a bit. But we've got to peel the bad boy. Now, this is the tricky part, because it is hot. But it should peel off nice and easy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bowl of cold water, so I can dip my fingers in, so I don't burn myself. Right. Nice work if you can get it. Just peel off. Simple as. When it gets too hot, dip your fingers in. I'm going to hold it with that. That is like an old leathery shoe. Got to be careful when you get to the tip. Peel it off. Just like that. Then we're going to trim it up. My knife. Just going to cut a bit off. There. I'll trim that bit up. So there's my trim tongue. Now there's several ways you can eat this. I'm just going to trim that bumpy bit off the back there. Now you can just slice this. This is a very French dish. You can serve it with a sauce, so you'd slice it. But what I want to do is I want to press this. So I'm going to cut it in half, reduce the liquor, get it in the press, and I'm going to press it. Right, so all I've done is cut down the middle. I'm going to get out the press now and get it in there. We'll get it chilling. Don't ask me out, but I've managed to get it in my press. So I've just trimmed it up a bit, cut a bit off the ends. I'm going to put it in there and I'm just going to add a couple of ladlefuls of this poaching liquor. It's really gelatinous. We'll get it to stick together. And I'm going to press it down. lid. This is actually a tongue press. Cool bit of kit this is. Get it to just, till all the liquid comes up. Give it some of that now. Lovely. We'll put that in the fridge. We'll have a look at that and that cools. Tell you what, this tongue has come a long way. Let's release the beast. That gelatin, natural set. I'm just going to get a bowl to pour that in and then we'll have a look at what's inside. Right, managed to prise the top off. Check that out. That looks a million miles away from where we started. You've got to admit, that's looking a bit better, not so gruesome. But, we don't do things by halves here, as you know. We're going to knock up a lovely caper sauce to go with that. I'll grab the ingredients and we'll get on. Okay, it's back to the real cooking, a certain someone out there. Here we go again. It's my lovely caper sauce. Obviously, we're going to start it with some butter. I've got one small onion chopped. I've got some cream. I'm going to use 75 ml. A tablespoon of chopped parsley. Three or four uh, tablespoons of plain flour two tablespoons of capers, 
Got some red currant jelly, some white wine vinegar, obviously in that sauce that'll help cut through the richness of the tongue. And 300 mils of beef stock. You can use the stock from the tongue. And you know, the king of mustards needs no introduction. I love it. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my butter in that pan. Once that starts foaming, we're gonna start uh, cutting our onions out just to a little golden, well, pale golden color. Right, I'm doing it in this pan so you can see what I'm doing. Obviously, if I had a bigger sauce pan, you would be able to get a, a better view. So just in there then, I'm just gonna start sauteing them, you know, on a gentle heat, simple as, till they take on a little bit of color. Right, my onions are a nice a pale golden, as you can see. What I'm gonna do, in with my flour, I'm gonna stir that, not too high a heat now, because we don't wanna burn that, until we get a, a slight brown color, cooking out that starchy gluten. Then what we'll do is we'll start adding that lovely stock. So there's that flour took on a bit of color. So I'm just gonna turn the heat back up, start adding a little bit of stock, stirring it, getting all the lumps out, a bit at a time. You want it nice and smooth. I love making sauces like this. Come on my beauty. I mean if it gets a little bit too lumpy, obviously add a bit more stock. Too thin, thick it out with flour. I'm going to get the rest of that in. And I'll continue to stir that now. Because you don't want to spend time watching me do this. Right then, so before we start cooking this out, I'm using white wine vinegar. A couple of tablespoons. Two. I'm going to take a couple of teaspoons of my mustard. Get that in. Another one as well. And then a couple of teaspoons of my red currant jelly. If I can get the lid off. I'll get that in there. I'll cut the big. And then we'll whisk all that together. Lovely, it's going to be a nice, thick, creamy, mustardy sauce. I'm going to season that up. Pepper. Get some salt in there. I'll get all that mixed together. And then I'm going to simmer that for 10 minutes. I'll quick go on that a minute. Oh, lovely piquant. It will cut right through the richness of that tongue. That is lovely. I'm going to have another go, actually. Right, my sauce. Been simmering for 10 minutes. Let's get these capers, give them a crush. Give them a bit of a chop. You ain't got to be too fussy here. Like that. Lovely. Into the sauce. With that, I'm going to add 75 mils of double cream. Give that a stir. Nice gentle heat. Get it to know each other. And then I'm going to add my parsley in and all we're going to do now simmer that for a couple of minutes let all those ingredients get to know each other and then we will serve up the tongue you see how nice and smooth mm, that is stunning okay let's do this now we are going to slice this tongue now I'm going to slice 
big slices across so I'm just going to cut that off so I can stand it up and hopefully 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 I've got the big guns out here just give it a couple of slices like that if it will stay for me come on my beaut oh look at that okay couple on slices nice thick slices on that okay so the magic of camera I have sliced that tongue cut it in half nice thick pieces let's get a bit of that on it lovely sauce and you think how far we've come from that gruesome looking tongue to this dish now not bad eh I mean I know not everybody hasn't got a press you could always get a little cake tin you know put it in there cut a bit of card put some tins of beans on it or something like that that's lovely well that's my finished dish this took just over a week it's salted pressed ox tongue with a caper sauce now I know this is not everybody's cup of tea but it's one of those you know dying arts a bit like my brawn or ham hock you know people just don't do this anymore and when you think that we went from you know this to this you know it's come a long way anyway I'm gonna get stuck into this thanks for watching